Hi kids, my name is Rebecca and I'm Isaac's wife. My name means friendly and I guess that's what I am. I'd love to help and serve people. In my country, people are named depending on what they're like or how people want them to be. It's funny that I tell you this, but that is how I met my husband. Well, actually, I didn't meet him somewhere, I was brought to him. In fact, it took me just one day to say I do. I know, it sounds like a fairy tale, but it was all led by God and it was a great blessing. I was taking care of my father's herd one day, giving the animals water to drink, when all of a sudden, I looked up and saw a man staring at me like he was choosing me out of the crowd. It was very strange. He and his camels were thirsty and needed my help. So I drew water out of the well for him and for all of his 10 camels. I could see that they had traveled a long way and they needed more than water. They needed a place to rest. My family was always happy to get visitors because then we could hear news from far away places and wow, what stories they would tell. I told him that my father was Bethuel, the son of Nahor and that we had plenty of space for him and his camels. When I said this, the man bowed his head and worshipped God. He gave me a lot of gifts. I was surprised because so many gifts could only mean one thing. Someone wanted to marry me. When we got home, this man, Eliezer, surprised us even more. Before eating any food or doing anything else, he insisted he needed to tell us his story. It turns out, he was the servant of my uncle Abraham, and he had a very specific mission. He was on a quest to find a wife for my cousin Isaac. What really made me blush was that he said that I was the chosen one because God had showed it to him. That explained everything. Even though going far away from home scared me, I had no doubts. Who was I to question God's choice? If he had chosen me to be Isaac's wife, well then, it's what I was going to be. And since it was God's will, then everything would turn out fine. So, when everyone looked at me to hear my opinion, I said, I will go. Everything happened so fast and sooner than expected, I had arrived in Canaan and was married to my wonderful husband, Isaac. At the beginning of our marriage, we went through a hard time because for many, many years, I couldn't have a child, just like Sarah, Isaac's mom. But we never lost hope. And finally, after years of waiting, God answered our prayers and I got pregnant with twin boys. As my belly got bigger, I felt the twins kicking. It seemed as if they would fight forever. One night, God told me that my boys would become two different nations and that the younger would be the chosen one. I was surprised because the firstborn is usually the chosen one and gets a special blessing. He becomes the future leader of the family. There was a reason why God chose the younger one. When the twins were born, we named the first one Esau, which means red-haired, and that was true. We named the second one Jacob because he was born holding onto his brother's heel. Jacob had a calmer spirit as he grew older. He loved God, was obedient, and always tried to help. And you know what? That's the reason God chose him, because he loved God. Esau, on the other hand, was pretty wild. He did what he wanted to do and spent most of his time outside looking for pleasure. While Esau married women who didn't believe in God, Jacob wanted to marry a believer. Sadly, when our boys grew up, I took things into my own hands to make God's promise happen. And that separated me from my beloved son for the rest of my life. We should have never tricked Isaac into giving the firstborn blessing to Jacob. I should have left it in God's hands and even though I regretted it for the rest of my life, I had to suffer the consequences. I never saw Jacob again. In the Bible, 
Jacob appears as the favorite one or the chosen one, not because his fate was determined for him, but because he chose to follow God. His choice made him the father of God's people and the ancestor of the Messiah. Really, everyone is free to choose whom they want to follow. God doesn't force you. He wants you to choose Him out of love. If you choose to believe in Him, don't do it because others tell you to do it. Do it because you want to. He will help you to believe in Him and obey Him, and then you will be one of His chosen ones too. Bye, kids!